folks, I'm Ian Baker, and today we're going to go over the 2020 Evoke Model A. This is a line of travel trailers that launched uh, kind of late last year. They debuted at the Florida RV Super Show, and it really is something that the industry, I think, needed, something that's a lot more modern. And they use a lot of great materials throughout the build, so let's kind of go through this specific floor plan. If you're, This one is basically a big rear bath floor plan. Excellent couples model. You have the slide out here really helping to open up this main living space as well. Now you will see in that slide out you have a U-shaped dinette which is directly across from the TV, meaning this will of course be the main seating area and it is the only seating area in the living area. The cool thing about this though is that it is uh, plenty large to have four people sit around and have a meal together, play a game together, and it also does drop down into a bed. They use a granite coat material for all the countertops and the bathroom and the kitchen and the tabletop here as well. You will also see that you have windows all throughout the slide, well in the back and one side rather, to let in a lot of natural light. But then they give you this right here, which I like. They kind of like these really very thin line, modern kind of wall sconces, as well as the LED lights. And throughout the whole camper, you will kind of see this, uh, this LED light. You have it here in the kitchen, in the bathroom. You can turn all those off if you want, but again, it just kind of helps with the overall aesthetic. Uh, if we take a look at the floor, I really like this flooring. It's actually like a very similar flooring to what they use in the Airstream. They kind of brought it over from like the yacht industry. Uh, it's very durable, resilient. Although it is a little dirty from us walking in here, it is uh, fairly easy to clean as well. In the slide out, you will see the wardrobe. So you have uh, extra hanging space there, which is great. Gives you a good spot to hang your clothes. Drawers right underneath that, you'll see a bank of four drawers. One of the things I love about the construction is this right here, folks. Whoops, let me do that a little bit harder. There it is, slow close drawers. That is a great feature to have, especially in a travel trailer in this price point. A lot of times you don't see that till like your really high end, you know, $75,000, $80,000 fifth wheels. If we take a look at the kitchen itself, again, very modern kitchen. You have the granite coat countertops. You have the large stainless steel single basin sink with the high rise uh, faucet. It's not exactly a pullout, but it kind of has that industrial look to it in a very similar feature set. And over to this side is the recessed three burner cooktop. This does have a light on the knobs as well. This of course just folds up and back like so, opening up those three burners. You have the, the larger size Furion, the upgraded range. So you have the, the three burner top, the oven, and then underneath you also have this extra storage drawer. So it does give you some uh, extra options there as far as storage space. Underneath the sink, excellent space there too. Now the backsplash itself, you will see, you know, doesn't stop just a little ways up. This whole thing is a backsplash, which you know, again, helps give it that extra aesthetic piece and makes it nice and easy to clean. As I mentioned, you can see that accent light in here. I love the wood up top. You have the two-tone wood. It's curved, which again is something you see in a lot of higher end, uh, like fifth wheels or really high end travel trailers. You will see that you have the strut, so it's easy one hand operation. And then right over to the side is a microwave with a hood underneath. Very, again, streamlined and modern for the hood. You also get a Everchill 12 volt compressor driven refrigerator, which I love. Um, you know, this is something that you don't have in a lot of campers and it just works very well, cools down nice and quickly. You have the crisper drawer right down underneath. You can see you have a spot for a couple of cans there, some beverages, uh, nice and big, easy travel lock too. You just have this fold it over just like that. Now you don't have to worry about anything falling out on you. Taking another step back, you get into the entertainment center, Jensen TV, as I mentioned, that is directly across from the U-shaped dinette, because that is your main seating area in this floor plan. You have the multimedia center right there underneath that uh, controls the speakers as well as being Bluetooth capable, and it is a DVD player, so if you want to watch some movies, you can pop it in there. Underneath that is your fireplace. You'll see that this looks beautiful. You have, again, the lighting underneath. You can turn that on, of course. The great thing about it is not only does that look great, uh, but it also is a space heater. So if you want to help kind of take the chill off in the space without using propane, you can turn that on. This is on a swing arm mount, by the way, so you can turn the TV. And again, you can see there's backlighting behind the TV as well. If you come around the corner, 
You will see this one has a coat closet, which I love. As soon as you walk in, there you go. You can hang your jackets up. You also have shoe storage right down underneath. That's a big win in my book. I really like when manufacturers put something like that in. Just because I tend to do camping in some of the colder climates and I hate having shoes and boots and jackets and everything. There's just no place to put them or big heavy sweatshirts. This gives you a good spot to hang them up. Main control panel located right over here. And we step back into the bathroom. You see the large slider door. And folks, as you can see, this is a massive bathroom. You have a ton of space to be able to get dressed in here, to move around. Uh, you have a the toilet here up against the wall. As far as space, you can see I have a ton of leg room. No issues with the shoulders either. Over to the side, again, it's that granite coat countertop, massive countertop here. A ton of space to get ready. You have your electrical outlet storage underneath the sink as well as plumbing access again you have two drawers over here just like out there these are slow close medicine cabinet as well as this little uh, kind of side storage space here the medicine cabinet opens as well and then you also have a very large shower so i'll take a step in here just to show you folks i'm six foot tall even without the skylight i'm not touching the ceiling so you know, you can be 6'4", six, 6'5", six, maybe 6'5", six, still be able to stand in here under that skylight without having to duck down to shower. The hand wand actually has a bar, so you can set it. Again, something you generally don't see in a lot of travel trailers, so I do like that. And then there's a seat in the back, so if you want to sit down to shower or if you need to shave your legs, this does make life a lot easier. In the bedroom, my favorite feature, of course, is the bed itself. Folks, this is a true residential size 76 by 80 inch king size bed. So if you're a taller person, your feet aren't going to hang off. There's plenty of room for you without elbowing each other. It does come with the decorative pillows as well, which is nice. Uh, you have the um, nightstands there. And then you'll also see you have electrical outlets as well as USB ports to charge cell phones. If you need to plug a CPAP machine in, you can do that too. Also, underneath the bed, you will see there is big storage. It is strut supported, so it's very easy to access. And lastly, if you want a TV in the bedroom, they did put a backer in the wall here, and the connections for it are right up top. Now that we've seen the inside, let's take a look at some of the outside features on the 2020 Evoque Model A. Right up front, this unit comes with a power tongue jack, which makes it a lot easier to hook up and disconnect from your tow vehicle. So all you have to do is flip the rocker switch here to raise and lower the tongue. And then you also have a light for added visibility at night. Right behind that, you have two 30-pound propane tanks where most travel trailers come with two 20s in this class. This one does give you the larger 30-pound tanks. You'll also see rails right here for your battery. And coming up the front, you have a very high diamond plating, which will certainly help protect the front end from a lot of the rocks and debris that get thrown up by your tow vehicle. Most of the time, the diamond plating comes up to here, maybe right about here, but this one is very high. You will also see the LED lights right up front, giving it that extra nice look at night. Coming around to the side, we'll open up the pass-through. Uh, this one does have a magnet. It's not the largest pass-through, so it's a little bit smaller than what I've seen uh, for a lot of travel trailers, but it is still very usable. You will see you have a couple LED lights in there. Also, battery disconnect, so that way if you need to uh, store it for a little bit, you're done using it, you can just flip that. It will kill all power to the RV, so there's not that slight drain on the battery. Power stabilizer jacks on here as well. The one control for the front two, there's another control in the back for the rear two. Bear in mind that is not for leveling. You still want to have the camper leveled out using blocks. Once it's leveled, then you can use the power stabilizer jacks. Put those down. That way the camper doesn't wobble around as you're walking inside. Large power awning, touch a button to roll that out. Same thing to have it go right back in. And there's an LED light strip on there. And that can, LED light can be used whether the awning is completely rolled up, partially extended, or fully extended. You will also see right here, we'll open this up again, it is magnetic. You have the outside refrigerator, so that way uh, you have a place for some of your condiments and beverages. And then you also have the two burner cooktop. Now this will plug in, if you drop right down under here with me, there's a propane quick connect right up here. Right underneath that is actually a spare tire carrier. Now, there is enough space underneath that king bed. That's currently where we have the spare tire. But if you want to put it underneath the camper, you have a spot for that as well. Two outside speakers. Those are controlled by that multimedia center we saw inside. But as I mentioned, that is Bluetooth capable. You also have TV hookup, cable outlet here, and an electrical outlet if you want an outside TV. 
Dropping down, you can see the gorgeous aluminum alloy wheels there. They look fantastic. Also, it is a wide base. You can see the uh, fender flares come out a little bit, and that's because the axles actually sit a little bit wider than the trailer. Uh, I'm told it definitely helps with towability. I've never towed one myself, so I can't speak to it, but in theory, I can see where it could help. You'll also see the Equiflex suspension right in between, uh, so that will help take out some of the kind of bumps and potholes in the road. LCI solid step system, it, exactly like the name implies, it is very solid. I can walk up and down here, I'm over 200 pounds. You can see the steps hardly flex, it moves the whole trailer. Um, you have the aluminum treads on there, so that way the treads won't rust. And you have the grip tape, which helps if it's wet, gives you a little bit of extra traction. Gorgeous tempered glass door on here, so that's really cool. It really makes it a very seamless look. I like that they put the logo, the Evoke, over the whole thing. Again, very modern on the exterior. The grab handle, if, if I have a complaint with the Evoke, this is probably it. Uh, and I brought it up at the, at the show as well. It, the handle itself, it's a great grab handle. I've seen it on a lot of different manufacturers. It just seems mounted a little odd to me. It's a little wobbly for my personal preference. Um, you know, not that it's going to make it or break it. I mean, I've rocked it pretty hard and it's, it's not going anywhere, but it just, you know, grabbing it just doesn't feel as sturdy as I would like for a grab handle helping me to get into the camper. Uh, right back here is your second, your second control. As I mentioned, that controls your two power stabilizer jacks right in the back. This one does come with an accessory mount, so this one that has a 150 pound weight capacity on there, perfect for like a small bike rack. Outside shower on the back with both hot and cold water access. Kind of a cool design on the back. If you take a look at the top, you'll see how it kind of flares up and back. That's something we, I've seen on, uh, very similar to what I've seen in some toy haulers, but never something on just a travel trailer. I think, again, it adds a little bit to the exterior and the design piece of this camper. You'll see your cable and satellite inlets back here. Also, 50 amp power supply will plug right in there. And then both of your water inlets with your fresh water inlet being in front and city water right behind that. Last thing I want to touch on is right up front behind the pass-through on the off-door side, you will see this one has solar prep. So if you want solar, simply buy the portable panels, plug it in right there, and it'll trickle charge your battery. All right, folks, and that wraps it up. Again, this is the 2020 Evoke Model A. If you're interested in this travel trailer and you would like price and availability, simply click on the link in the description. Thanks again for watching. I'm Ian Baker, and let's go camping.